praise the lord dear children of god we welcome you to our online english service greetings to you in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ amen let us look to the lord in prayer our almighty father we praise you lord we glorify your name thank you for giving us this new day to worship you to praise you lord fill us with your blessings lord we have come into your presence to receive blessings from your hands lord as we sing praises to you be glorified let your name be glorified lord you are worthy of all the honor all the praise thank you lord jesus we worship you we worship you lord speak to us through your precious word purify our hearts through your word lord we submit all of us in your mighty hand in jesus name we pray amen hallelujah hallelujah our jehovah god has so many names amen he is almighty father he is a way maker he is a promise keeper he has lord and lord of names amen among all the other names one of the names is Jehovah Jireh hallelujah he provides all our needs amen Jehovah God Jehovah Jireh provides all our needs amen when Isaac asked his father Abraham father the fire and wood are here but where is the lamb for the burnt offering for this question how Abraham replied he said God himself will provide the lamb for the burnt offering amen God himself will provide yes God provided the lamb for Abraham and Isaac the same God is living today is among us today he will provide all our needs amen the bible says my god will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in christ jesus let us sing praises to the lord who supply all our needs each and every day hallelujah jehovah jireh my provider let us clap our hands let us sing to the lord Jehovah Jireh, my provider, His grace is sufficient for me. For me, for me. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, His grace is sufficient for me. My God shall supply all my needs according to His riches and glory. He will give His angels charge over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. My God shall, my God shall supply all my needs according to His riches and glory. He will give His angels charge over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, His grace is sufficient for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, His grace is sufficient for me. Sing again, Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, His grace is sufficient for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh. My provider, His grace is sufficient for me. My God shall supply all my needs according to His riches and glory. He will give His angels charge over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. My God shall supply all my needs. According to His riches and glory, He will give His angels charge over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, His grace is sufficient for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh. My provider, His grace is sufficient for me. My provider, His grace is sufficient for me. My 
God shall supply all my needs According to His riches and glory He will give His angels charge over me Jehovah Jireh cares for me For me, for me Jehovah Jireh cares for me My God shall supply all my needs According to His riches and glory Jehovah Jireh, my provider, His grace is sufficient for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, His grace is sufficient for me. Sing again. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, His grace is sufficient for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, His grace is sufficient for me. My God shall supply all my needs according to His riches and glory. He will give His angels charge over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. My God shall supply all my needs according to His riches and glory. He will give His angels charge over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. For me, for me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. Amen. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. For me, for me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. Hallelujah. Amen. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. He supplies all my needs. Amen. My God shall supply all my needs according to His riches and glory. He will give His angels charge over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. For me, for me, Jehovah Jireh cares for me. Amen. Our Lord God cares for every one of us. Amen. He, he can supply all our needs according to His riches and glory. Heaven and earth belong to our God. He is the creator of heavens and the earth. Amen. He is all powerful. He is all powerful. He is rich in His love. He is rich in all the glories. He can supply all your needs. Amen. Today, if you worry about anything, cast your burden set to the Lord. He sustains you. He supplies all your needs. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us see. Let us sing another song. He is the way maker. He is the miracle worker. He is the promise keeper. He is the light in the darkness. Amen. Hallelujah. God is a way maker. He makes a way where there is no way. When the world closes all the doors, the Lord gives you a new way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He, God sets apart a new way for each and every one of us. He has a specific way. He has a unique way for your life. Hallelujah. He is the way maker. He is the miracle worker. He is the God of miracles. He separates the Red Sea for the Israelites. Hallelujah. He does all the miracles for your life. For your earthly life and for your heavenly life. Hallelujah. He is the God of miracles. He is the promise keeper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All the promises God has given to you. He will keep, he will keep all the promises. He will fulfill his promises in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. He is the promise keeper. He never forgets the promises. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus, thank you, Lord. You are the light in the darkness. There is darkness everywhere. If you feel there is darkness in your life, submit your life into the hands of God. He will give you light. He is the light of the world. He came to this world to give you light. Hallelujah. He is the light in the darkness. 
Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you for being with us. You are in our midst. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come 
miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are, that is who you are, that is who you are, even when I don't see it, you're working, even when I don't feel it, you're working, never stop, you never stop working, never stop, you never stop working, even when I don't see it, you're working, even when I don't feel it, you're working, never stop, you never stop working, never stop, you never stop, amen, even when I don't see it, you're working, even when I don't feel it, you're working, Never stop, you never stop working. Never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Never stop, you never stop 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 working. Never stop, you in your hands Lord hallelujah have control Lord of our life let everything we do bring glory to your name let everything we say bring glory to your name be with us throughout this week Lord fill us with your glory fill us with your presence fill us with your anointing hallelujah thank you for your loving kindness Lord Jesus let us look to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, loving God Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for this lovely day to worship you, Lord. Jehovah Jireh, we thank you, Lord. We praise you, we praise you, Lord. Lord, you are the way maker, you are the miracle work, Lord, in our lives. Lord, we want your blessings. We need your blessings, Lord. Bless the people who are watching this. Bless the person who is going to give your words, Lord. We want to hear your voice through him, Lord. Speak with us. Let your Holy Spirit may continue to guide us in everything we do. We submit everything into your hands. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Greetings to you all in the matchless name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Once again, it's good to be in the presence of God. I hope you are all enjoyed the worship. Today I am too excited to share the word of God. Surely the word of God will change your life. Today we are going to talk about who am I? For generations and generations, people, they want to find who they are. Why am I living in this world? What is the purpose of my life? So that's why they want to find out who am I? Why I am exist in this world? So they want to find out who, who I am. So people used to always, uh, they, they, they want to, f in the finding, in their process, they always see the mirror 
to find who they are how they look how they appear how they uh, look alike so in olden days there was no mirror to see to find who they are so they used to see in a river because those times the waters were very clear they used to see their faces in the flowing waters and later they used to see their faces on uh, silver or bronze that kind of vessels nowadays only recent for past over 30 to 50 years the mirrors are available but by seeing mirror we cannot come to the conclusion who we are i remember a true story that happened in during a second world war it was around 1945 and the second world war was going to end it, uh, the russian soldiers they got captive and man called andrew thomas he became a, a prison prisoner captured by the russian soldiers so they arrested him they kept him in a isolated place they gave him a solitary confinement a separate room that man called andrew thomas his age was uh, in 1945 he was 20 years old and he got released recently uh, the year of 2000 he got recently after 55 years in the prison he got released uh when he got released his age was 75 and he he was all alone in a separate room for 55 years when he came out and he started to speak to the officers they could not able to understand what he was speaking then they thought because of he was uh, 55 years he was in solitary confinement he got uh, physically or mentally he was uh attacked or he was he got mad they thought so they brought a hungarian psychiatrist and then they found out he was speaking a ancient hungarian uh, during that time even the language was changed then they declared he was not a mental he was uh, he was uh, okay after 55 years at the age of 75 he saw the outer world after being in prison the first request he asked after his release was he said i want mirror i want a mirror to see my face he got a mirror then he saw a face he was terribly shocked he was cried and he thought because he he, he saw his face at the age of 20 after 55 years now he is seeing his face in the mirror now his face was little old his skin got wrinkled uh, you know how the face of the 75 years old man so he thought this is i am this is my life my life is over by seeing the mirror he came into a conclusion that this is i am no more my life is then he committed suicide and died so today are you in the process of finding who you are are you uh, asking question yourself who am i are you asking a question that why do i exist what is the purpose of my life today we going to find out the answers for that one of the greatest person in the bible he found who he is in sam 139 13 to 18 sams 139 13 to 18 bible says uh, david says for you created in my inmost being you knit me together in my mother's womb i praise you because i am fearfully and wonderfully made and your works are wonderful i know that full well my frame was not hidden from you when i was made in the secret place when i was woven together in the depths of the earth your eyes saw my unformed body all the days ordained me ordained for me were written in your book 
before one of them came to be how precious to me are your thoughts god how vast is the sum of them where i to count them they would outnumber the grains of sand when i awake i am still with you david the psalmist david accurately find who he is how we can find did he see any mirror because was it there was no mirror was available then how you find who he is i believe through the word of god that's why in epistle of james chapter 1 verse 23 and 24 says anyone who listens to the word but does not do what he says is like someone who looks at his face in a mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like see only the word of god can show you who we are accurately it will show who we are we can see only the physical structure in the mirror but that is not a real you the the appearance what you see in your eyes is not the real you the mirror which you have in your house it will not show your character only the your outward appearance the mirror which you have in your house it will not show your nature it will not show you the capacity it will not show your strength it will not show the weakness of yours it will not show the skills you have it will just show your outward appearance just just it will show uh, your appearance of your body but the bible says this body is just given by a god is is just like a uh, blanket we are wearing on ourselves the real you is not the mirror doesn't show your real face the real you the real face of yourself if you want to see that then read the word of god god will show who you are you will understand who you are many that's why many won't come to the word they they won't they don't want to see from the word who they are so they go to different places to find they do do different tactics to find who they are but today i want to tell you my friends don't go back to the world because the world will always fail you the world will always defeat you the world will overcome you the world will always tell you the lot of lies about yourself but i believe if you see if you look if you meditate if you walk in the word the word will show who you are what is the purpose and why you exist and what god has a great plans has in your life everything we can find in the word but if you go back to this world this world also have some mirrors today i'm going to say the three mirrors you can find yourself in the world what are the mirrors are number 1 soiled mirrors in other words dirty mirrors it will always show you you as a dirty person for example if you read a man about in the bible uh, turns to your bibles to look chapter 15 18 to 19 the a prodigal son the lost son he is seeing himself in this soiled mirror the dirty mirror then he come to a conclusion that he says verse 18 i will set out and go back to my father and say to him father i have sinned against heaven and against you i am no longer worthy to be called your son make me like one of your hired servants we know story about him he is one born and brought up in a reputed family he was not often but he says i am not your son i am your servant did anybody say that hey you are a servant no he is saying himself that i am not a servant i am not a son i am a servant i cannot uh, claim all the things which are, which my father has 
he himself decides that's why i said he was looking his life by the soiled mirrors if you see your face if you see yourself in the soiled mirror it will not show you clearly if you stand before this mirror even if you are if you are uh, holy it will show you as a dirty person if you are a son it will show you as a servant if you are a hare you it will show you as a, s- a slave if you are a good person it will show you as a bad person same thing happened to a king david at one point of his life he said in first samuel chapter 18 verse 18 he says but david said to saul who am i you seeing his life to a solid mirror what is my family my clan is in israel that i should become the king's son in law did anybody said you are unworthy to be a son in law of kings did saul said did his brothers said who said he himself declared oh my god i who am i i am i am unworthy i am not fit to be a, a king's son in law hallelujah still he got a prize but still he's saying i am not worthy this is what happened when you stand before a solid mirror every time this soiled mirror will show you uh, you are a unworthy person same thing that showing to the prodigal son is a person from the father's house went to the pit of sin then he wants to come back still he says no i don't want to be a son i want to be a servant even in the life of david also same he is the only one person i have the worthy to marry a king's daughter but still says my family is small my clan is small huh and my village is small hallelujah after doing everything is saying i am unworthy person so don't do not look your face your life into the world soiled mirrors that's why bible says in book of galatians chapter 4 verse 6 and 7 it says because you are his sons god sent the spirit of his son into our hearts the spirit who calls out abba father so you are no more a longer a slave but god's child and since you are his child god has made you also an heir see when the soiled mirror shows you a slave a servant you are good for nothing you cannot be exalted you are not unworthy you are a dirty guy but god says you are my son you are my head you have all the authority to receive my blessings you are not no more often you are not a stranger you are not a uh, traveler you are my son how far you go i will be with you and i will bring you back to my house when you come back house you are no more a slave you are a son hallelujah he never father never considered him as a servant he never accepted he must a servant he never see him as a sinner he just said come my son come to the real mirror look at the real mirror even though you are a sinner uh, you broke and commandments you are not worthy uh, you have a dirty things in your life see in the real mirror you will see you are a son you have the all the authorities to claim the god's blessings that's why in hebrew says come into the grace throne of grace in the suitable time god will send his presence in your life even not on the younger brother the elder brother had a solid mirror he said do you know who he is he was pointing out all the sins he went into a dirty place he is unworthy he is uh, walking he is not at all walking he is unworthy for celebration He is unfit for the party throw him out many lived with in the solid mirror whenever you come in the presence of god whenever you want to worship whenever you raise your hand suddenly when you see yourself in the soiled mirror then it will show you you are unworthy you are not fit to worship you are sinner huh? uh, you are not at all to be in the presence of god 
how how can you worship you are a great sinner it will always pin point you it will it will bring you the guilty feeling in your life but today see who you are in the real mirror that is the bible that is the word of god see here and you will find you are the son not no more slave you are a head you are no more servant you have all the authority to gain the blessing so stop looking at the soiled mirror start looking at the beautiful mirror of that is the word of god number 2 the world gives you shows you another kind of mirror shattered mirrors in other words a broken mirror in exodus chapter 3 verse 11 here moses said to god who am i that i should go to pharaoh and bring the israelites out of egypt see before 40 years he was living in the palace he was trained to be a good leader we know the story at one point of time he was killed a egyptian in order to save a hebrew Uh, that incident that incident itself uh, itself uh, made against himself to be a great leader he imagined as a leader the next day everything got collapsed the hope on being a leader got destroyed the same people rejected moses so he ran away now god said after 40 years God went back to Moses and said go back he will deliver you will deliver the people of israelites now moses says who am i before 40 years he said i am the perfect judge and i will make them free now he is saying who am i i don't want to go because he saw himself in the shattered mirrors to find who he is he saw himself in a a broken mirror he saw that mirror shows all the past failures all the past brokenness all the past destructions so that mirror shows now you are good for nothing i will tell you my friends if you are, if you do not know how to handle the past failures the past brokenness you cannot easily move forward and live a victorious life everybody will have a past failures a past uh, fallen everybody have shortcomings but that fear should not grip your life you should easily you should know how to overcome it so don't go after a past life it will never give you strength always look yourself in the word of god hallelujah your past failures always make your life a cripple a small incident a small failure a small accident uh, a small a past dream failure everything will cripple you not to go helps to go forward if god is with you you can easily overcome and you can overcome and live a, a victorious life now moses thought i don't have a future i don't have anything even the god is giving opportunity he said i am unworthy who am i he was a great man he says he was a great speaker now he says lord i cannot able to speak i am at, i have a tamaring tongue he is a great educationalist but still he says i am at i am a tamaring tongue that's why god said you don't need to speak i will send aaron he will speak instead of you because of your broken past don't say i cannot pray i cannot uh, overcome to somebody i am i am not unworthy that's why in bible says in jaram book of jeremiah chapter 18 book of jeremiah chapter 18 if you read from the chapter 18 4 and to 6 bible says 
but the pot he was shaping from the clay was married in his hand so the pot of formed it into another pot and shaping it seems best to him then the word of the lord came to me he said can i not do with you israel as a potter does declares the lord like clay in the hand of the potter so you are my hand israel wow what a great word that is like how the clay in the hands of potter same way we are the clay and we are in the hands of our potter jesus christ don't feel oh i am broken don't feel i am shattered don't 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 feel that i have a lot of past failures i have past agonies i am past uh, overcoming shortcomings submit in the hands of god even though you you are you may be a broken vessel today god is speaking to you and he is going to make a, make you as a new vessel that new vessel will be glorified and useful in the kingdom of god hallelujah so do not worry about i am broken i have past failures it may be a low failure it may be your past family failure it may be you may be financially you might be fail in the past days due to heavy lockdown don't look at that don't look your self in the shattered mirrors broken mirrors it will always cripple you see yourself today god is saying you i am molding you i am shaping you i am making you a new vessel come on glorify the name of the lord so this world will always show you as soiled mirror show you as a dirty person bad person but the word of god shows you as a son you are a holy this world always shows shows you as a shattered persons but the word of god says i will make you i will mold you you are no more broken hallelujah finally third superficial mirrors it is like a mirror of vanity many has this this mirror if you if you want to explain a superficial mirror you are what exactly self is talking about if you see someone's fb or insta or whatsapp if you, if you see the uh, profile page we cannot believe that is them because today's mobile phone the camera selfies can change any person superficial mirrors a dark person into a white a plain into a lean hair if if no hair means they can make a hair if it is short they can make a tall tall it make a short if it has teeth you can make a no teeth no teeth you can make a teeth that's why there is a small poem in old days we used to read a chubby chains dimple chin curly hair very fair eyes of blue a lovely too hallelujah all done in a selfie one button can change your appearance during my old days i have a hono phone from hawaii company that is my first phone with dual camera those days people used to have a single camera i used to have it now four or five cameras are coming so there is a in camera there is option beauty future we can change our color without editing by clicking itself we can change everything today people can change the backgrounds they will take a photo like they are in the new york when we ask when you went to new york they will say it is front of corporation then they are modifying it into new york that's why in this all are superficial mirrors in revelation chapter 3 something bible says you say i am rich i have acquired wealth and do not need a thing but you do not realize that you are wretched pitiful poor blind and naked see young people are like this they are not rich but they are showing themselves as rich actually they are richer they are pitiful they are poor they are blind and naked but they are they are showing themselves oh, i am not i am okay i am fine i am doing good that's why in luke chapter 18 10 to 12 we are read there the two people are coming to a temple 
one is pharisees another is a sinner one man he said lord i'm i'm not like a, uh, that sinner i'm not like a, that uh, adultery man i am praying every day i am fasting every day i am giving my tithe he is showing off this is called a, a spiritual photoshop today i am attending meetings i am going to church i am reading bible outwardly i am perfect what is about your inner life hallelujah we are showing what we have not we are showing outwardly inside there is no spiritual but still we are showing we are so spiritual inside our hearts and minds are full of corrupted but still we are showing that we are more holy i am praying i am reading i am going to church that's why bible says god says to the pharisee you are not a righteous person that sinner is a righteous man <coughs> because don't satisfy with with others what you show outwards yourself even though king david he showed himself as a perfect king after doing sin he became perfect after doing sin with bathsheba he was acting like a normal guy he was performing his duties he was worshiping god he was uh, offering a sacrifices until the word of the lord came he changed his heart and he found confessed lord i am a sinful man renew me change me don't take away the spirit of god from my life hallelujah my dear children of god by your outward appearance by your the holiness of your outward appearance you will not go to heaven your inward the inner heart the inner mind should be holy in order to go to heaven because god never sees the face god sees your heart remember are you the person looking yourself in the superficial mirror the mirror which you shows you are perfectly all right you are good you are beautiful you have all the superpowers but what about the inner heart if you want to see inner heart inner mind look at the word of god it will show you who you are hallelujah so today we have seen a three mirrors number 1 soiled mirror number 2 shattered mirror number 3 superficial mirror so are you a person these are the mirrors offered by the world this world never wants to grow you helps to grow you in the spiritual life it will never only the word of god will help you so stop looking at the soiled mirror stop looking at the shattered mirror stop looking at the superficial mirror start looking at the real mirror that is the word of god it will change your inner heart in your inner mind it will change your way of speech it will change your way of view it will change your way of walk it will change your way of thoughts everything will be changed and you will be a renewed man renewed man and you will be live a transformed life hallelujah look at the word of god and find out who you are and really the lords will help you the purpose in your life the existence of you are in the world thank you jesus let's all close your eyes and we look the lord in prayer today we are finding in many things who am i why am i in this world what is the purpose of of my why i am created many times by seeing our outward appearance we are getting disturbed by seeing our outward appearance we are we think that we are we are unworthy but today god is says i am called you as a son and daughter i am not seeing your face i am seeing your heart don't see your, yourself in the soiled mirror don't see yourself in the shattered mirror don't see yourself in the superficial mirror submit yourself in the hands of god surely god will help you thank you lord thank you for the verse master help Thank you for helping us to find who am am I. Thank you Jesus. Thank you for your great plans. Thank you for your great purposes. 
Thank you for choosing us to be your servant, Lord. Help us to overcome all the sins, temptation, all our past failures, all our brokenness. Help us to live in the victorious way, Master. I pray for all the people, those who are listening this online service. Help us to glorify, help us to grow in your spiritual life, Master. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's receive the Lord's blessing. May the love of the Father, the grace of the Lord Jesus, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Let's shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. May God bless you. We'll meet you in another online service. Until then, bye-bye.